it day to day, I go on day to day to day. I barely get a full whole day. And the sun is shining brightly down on today, and I'm going this day and day. Oh, I would not imagine my life without you in it. You mean anything to me, cause you make the sun shine in my life, and I loved you. This day to day, I'm going this day to day. I barely get a full Day. And the sun is shining brightly down on today and a gorgeous day indeed. Oh, I'm this is a story about a national park. A legend has it that there was a monster who lived in this national park. This is also a story about a small community in the park like, where they knew about the monster or they knew about the legend of the monster. The other stories. It was a lovely Saturday, and the sun was shining brightly that day. And like usual, David woke up and got dressed. David was briefly in his room, and then suddenly he heard a knock on his door. So he said he would go and see who it was. David said, Hi Sarah, what brings you around my neck of the woods? What do you want? Sarah said, Our friend is here. I don't want to go for a walk with us. David said, Okay, that's only really fun. David said to his mom, Me and my friends and my sister are going to go for a walk. Now, okay, mom. Their mom, or David's mom, said, Be back here by dinner time. David said, Okay, I'll be back here by dinner time. A lovely day today, a gorgeous day indeed. What a beautiful day it is today. So come on, let's go for a walk. We will join our friends and the people that we the most to us. So it's a lovely day for a walk with your friend indeed. Oh, the sun is shining. Rightly today, and it's a gorgeous day for a walk with your friend, indeed. you said, oh boy, it's an adorable. David said, we're just going for a walk. Don't bother, you. you said, are you going to go and take and catch that marker? David said, the marker is to hell at him. you said, I bet the marker helped that hill there. Are you going to try it? David said, we know. So the monster is just a legend and it's not true. Be ahead, I bet it is. Holly said to Dave, Come on, dear, let the gal here. We don't need to listen to be you. Dave said, Yeah, we don't need to listen to him, do we? Be you said, Are you chicken? Dave said, Come on, Holly, let the gal here. Be you being annoying. Basically, the gang made it back home for dinner time. So, Dave and Sarah had to say goodbye to their friends, so they said goodbye to their friends, and their friends said goodbye to them, and then they had dinner with their family, and dinner with the lady. Basically, daytime turned to nighttime, and it was nighttime. It wasn't quite time for bed yet, and Dave said he would go off to get brush her hair, and the parents said that was okay. David looked at the night moon and thought to himself, Do you think the legend is true? Did that monster really does exist? He thought, Well, I don't know. But it's a legend, right? People say it's it. But it's a legend, but it's a legend true. David said, I don't know, is what he thought. I don't know. It was the next day and it was Sunday. It was a lovely Sunday. Once again, the sun was shining brightly today on this lovely Sunday. Dave got up like usual and got dressed and went downstairs to have breakfast. Breakfast was delicious, but David oh, was very angry. He really wanted to know if that lesson of that monster was true. So he decided that he would go for a walk to see if he could find the monster. David 
it became to a point where the pack lit. One went up the mountain, now one went down the mountain. The question of what he asked, did he go up the mountain to see if you find the marker? Because legend has it that the marker lived up the mountain, so you have got to go up the mountain to see if you find the marker. Basically, the path up the mountain ended, and David the Hunting looked down at the valley, and he could see something. It looked like a marker. Basically, down in the valley, that is where David saw the marker, and he saw the marker with his own eye, and he could tell that the marker was real because it looked real. He knew it, because so he saw it. Basically, down in the valley, that is where David saw the marker, and he saw the marker with his own eye, and he could tell that the marker was real because it looked real. He knew it, because so he saw it. David basically went home, and he decided that, because he saw the marker, he decided that he would keep it to himself, because he wanted it to mean a lesson. Basically, once again, daytime to nighttime, and it was nighttime. Um, the kids decided to stay up a bit to watch Tubman, and then basically they went to bed and they said goodnight to their parents, and this is basically where this story ends for now. People have said that they have seen the mother indeed. I heard say this is the lesson. But some people all say that the legend is true, that that marker really does exist, and they say it's true, they say it's true, it is.